Have you ever wondered why the burgers in commercials always look so good? We visited a studio where food stylist Jennifer Eustock showed us some of the tricks that can be used in different TV commercials, like how to make even the most ordinary burger look like a hunk. I'm a makeup artist for food, and my job is to make food look absolutely mouth-watering when you see it close up on a television commercial. Have you ever seen a burger that looks better than anything you've ever seen before? Well, this is how we do it. Now, even though the burger's only on the screen for a few seconds, he's got to look so big and juicy that he'll be the star of the commercial. So we only cook him for 20 seconds on either side, and that way he doesn't shrink. Basically, he's still raw. Next, I want to give our star some identity, some definition, like he came off the grill in your backyard, so I brand him with my skewer. Now for the buns. After I've gone through dozens and dozens of buns, I find one with the perfect shape. Then I carefully glue on sesame seeds to give it the perfect finished look. We don't want our perfect bun to get soggy, so I take a piece of cardboard, put it on the bottom, it soaks up the grease from the burger and acts as a platform for our star to sit on. It looks a little scrawny, so I'm gonna perform some minor surgery. I'm gonna make two cuts Take out a V of the beef. We're going to spread it out on the bun so he fits. And you'll never see it because we're shooting our star from the front. Next, we're going to paint our star with food dye to give him that rich, beautiful color that looks good on television. And now for the burger's wardrobe. I go through dozens and dozens of heads of lettuce, keep them in ice water to give them that extra crispy look, and then I pin them on the burger using straight pins and toothpicks. Our burger's gonna need plenty of color and height to make a good impression. And that comes from being well-dressed. much taller than most fast food burgers you can buy. And now for his supporting cast. I pick out the tallest, most golden fries from trays and trays of fries that we cook just a little. And then I make an arrangement by putting them in styrofoam with toothpicks. And this way I can get them in any shape that I want. And that way my finished arrangement always looks nice and full. And now for our shake. Ice cream and milk would melt under the hot lights, so instead I use shortening and powdered sugar to make it thick and red jello to give it that strawberry color. And then I blend and voila, looks like a frosty thick shake every time. Now our food is all ready for our close up. But what if I wanted our burger and fries to look steaming hot? Easy. In this dish are chemical chips, made especially for television. I just add a few drops of water, and I can make the perfect puff of fake steam. And now our meal is ready for the camera. OK, cue the steam. Doesn't it look good enough to eat? You are what you eat. Yeah, that's true, because what you eat is alive. The things that were alive, and then they become like a part of you. They, 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 like, they make you, they make you grow. An apple a day is stupid because it's not candy. It's true. Unless it's an, unless it's one of those apple candies. Oh, yeah, candy all the apple. Syrup. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. good. That's better. That's yeah. better. You do need to eat healthy food, but sometimes you got to get down and eat anything you want. The score on sports drinks. Power, grace, speed, agility. Athletes are our heroes. But these days, they're also our salespeople. And when they tell us to buy something, it's pretty hard to resist. Like sports drinks. Can Snap Up give you a power serve like Yvonne Lendl? Look at that burst of energy.
Will Gatorade help you slam dunk like Michael Jordan? The commercials make you think so. You can kind of be like them when you drink Gatorade. It feels like it re-energizes you. Mark Rifton drinks Gatorade, Gary Clark drinks Gatorade, and Scottie Pippen drinks Gatorade, Michael Jordan drinks Gatorade. When I drank Gatorade one time, I got five baskets in a row. Was that really because of Gatorade? Are the commercials true? Let's find out what's really in sports drinks like Gatorade. Gatorade is made up of water, sugar, and minerals like potassium and salt. Sports drinks call the salts electrolytes, but that's just a fancy way of saying salt, and you don't need a special drink to get it. Most of us have enough salt in our bodies from the foods we eat every day. Then there's potassium, a mineral that helps your muscles work. But you only need a little potassium even if you play really hard for two solid hours. And you can easily get it from regular food. Just one glass of orange juice or one banana has about as much potassium as 18 glasses of Gatorade. Next, there's sugar. You can find that in lots of other drinks, too. But what's the main ingredient in Gatorade? It's water. Your body does need plenty of water when you exercise. Mm. But drinking plain water is a great way to quench your thirst. And best of all, it's free. Sports drinks are just high-priced sugar water with a fancy name. Now, the commercials make it seem like you need them to play your best, but the truth is none of these sports drinks is going to give you an edge. Commercials. They've got lots of ways to try and get you to buy their product. But as long as you remember a few key points, they won't be able to fool you. Here's some food for thought. Tip number one. Commercials persuade you to be loyal to their brand when you may not be able to tell the difference. So don't swallow their hype. Tip number two. Snack cakes like Twinkies may taste good, but when you check out the label, you might be surprised at what they're made of. Tip number three. It's the golden days. Watch out for sugary cereals. You don't need them to have a complete breakfast. Tip number four, don't believe everything you see. Foods that look great on TV may not look that way when you buy them. Tip number five, entering sweepstakes may be fun, but know how slim your chances of winning really are. And tip number six, just because there's a lot of fruit in the commercials or on the package doesn't mean you'll find lots of fruit inside. So, remember, <clears throat> commercials can try to dazzle you with delicious pictures and cool stars, but you've got the power to choose. Don't be fooled into buying things you don't really need, things that promise more than they deliver or pretend to be healthier than they really are. One thing's for sure, products don't give you power. <clears throat> practice does, and I intend to practice. Oh. Mm.